Now I'm just gonna go back in with my smudge, but. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel if you're new I'm Cheyenne Janelle and today I have this gorgeous gorgeous purple look for you guys featuring my new LA girl jelly glam um, metallic eyeshadow color and this is the first time I'm trying these out so I'm really really excited to show you guys I really really love how it turned out and I hope you guys would enjoy this look um, this look I had already posted on my Instagram before I previously posted it but I decided that you know since so many of you had asked me about it had really liked it and had asked me if I can show you how I got it I decided to do this look for you guys it's not an exact replica of that original look but it is pretty close so if you guys want to see how to do this look then please continue to watch all right you guys so I've zoomed you all in a little bit and I have already done my brows off camera. So now we are just going to get straight into everything. So I'm gonna prime my eyelids. I did a little bit before when I was doing my brows, but I am just going to prime them all over again. Right, so just a little bit. So I'm going in one time with my Morphe 35O palette and I'm going in with this color right here, this one. I'm going to pop that on the outer corner of my lid. Next, I'm going to take my Urban Decay Electric palette. This is what it looks like and I'm going in with the color Urban, this purple color right here. And I'm just going to put that in the innermost part. Um, not the innermost part, but right before that dark brown color. <laughs> Alright guys, next I'm going to take the LA Girl Jelly Glam in the shade Rockstar. Oh, this color is so pretty. Let me just show y'all. So this is what it looks like. It's literal jelly. But I'm not going to take the cap off because in Wonderful World, they had the cap on when I was testing them. So I don't want to take it off and then it dries out or something happens to it. Because if that's how they had it for the testers, I want to keep it like this. So I'm just going to take my eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to dip it. I've never used this jelly thing before, so I'm hoping everything goes smoothly. <laughs> Morphe palette again and I'm going in with this color right here this color and a little bit of this color and I'm gonna use that to buff out that shadow in the crease I'm just gonna take that purple brush just the leftovers on the brush and I'm gonna go back between that glittery purple the jelly and my purple eyeshadow just to blend the two together now I'm gonna go back in with some of that outer color corner I'm gonna go back in with some of that outer color corner I'm gonna go back in with some of that outer color corner I think we all know that I meant outer corner color. I'm gonna define it a little bit more. Alright guys, once again, my camera stopped, but it's okay. It's alright. I don't know how much you guys missed, but... I'm 
Now we're going in with my fave, Caramia eyeliner, and I am going to do a nice wing. Alright guys, next we're gonna do the bottom waterline eyeliner since we already did the top. So next I'm gonna take my buffer brush and I'm going to set that eyeliner right nice and neat under that waterline. So I'm gonna take my Naked Smoky palette from Urban Decay and I'm gonna use the black in there. I love how nice and smoky that's looking. Now it's time for mascara and then false eyelashes. I'm gonna do my lashes off camera and I'll be right back. So I've put my lashes on. Now we're going to put some of that purple on the lid on the bottom of our wash, um, wash line, of our lash line and smoke it out. And I'm focusing most of the purple more in the center area. Now it's time to highlight my face and I'm going to start with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toffee and I'm going to highlight the high points of my face. Now it's time for foundation and I'm using, you all know I love to use my favorite drugstore foundation, the Revlon Color Stay Foundations. So I'm going to use those. Usually I use Makeup Forever, but this is it, the one I use. But your girl isn't going to, you know, we balling on a budget here. Your girl isn't going to use her good Makeup Forever foundation <laughs> for these tutorials when I'm not going a place, okay? So Revlon Color Stay, that's what we're going to use today. So I have to angle it. Just squeeze it out, right? And then I'm gonna take some of this one. This one is almost finished. And guys, if you think that your foundation is done just because you can't pump it out anymore, like look at this. But if you look inside of here, I know y'all can't see that, but <laughs> if you look inside of here, there's so much left. So like just turn your foundation to the side and let it run down and then you'll be able to scrape it with the wand. Now I'm going to set my under eyes with my Sasha um, powder. Oh shoot, <laughs> that's a lot. Hey girl! I can't see your face. Yeah. No, I really can't see your face. I love my glasses. <laughs> People will say that every time my mother always comes in my room to tell me to eat. Now I'm gonna take my Sasha powder in the color, I can't remember what color this is, I think it's honey. Perfect honey, perfect honey. <laughs> Next, 
we're gonna contour the face and you all know my holy grail contour and highlight palette is the black radiance um, medium to dark complexion palette so we're gonna go right in with that Now I'm just going to go back in with my smudge brush and touch up that bottom lash line. Now for blush, I'm going in with my Beauty Treats Professional Palette. This is what it looks like. It is in a state... Well, let me get it. This is what it looks like. But yeah, we're going in with the Beauty Treats Professional Palette. And my favorite blush ever is this one right here. Now it's time for lips and I'm going in with my Milani lipstick in the shade Teddy Bear and I'm going to line my lips with the Giordano lip liner. Now I'm going in with my Urban Decay Vice Palette and I'm going to go in with the color Whip and put that on top. It's a nice sheer gloss but it has like peach iridescent kind of. I don't really know how to explain it but you can see it there. This is Whip. Now I'm just adding um, mascara to my lower lashes. I don't know why I suddenly stopped telling you guys what I was doing but I'm so sorry about that. I'm just highlighting my brow bone with some of the highlight shade from the contour and highlight palette. Alright guys, so I like how the look looks, I like how it turned out, but I decided that I wanted to add a little bit more pop in the eyes. So I decided I'm going to go back in with my Urban Decay Electric palette and I'm going in with the color Revolt, which is a nice silver color, this color right here. And I'm going to pop that on the inner tear duct, so let's see how that looks. Yes! Oh my gosh, I love that already. I'm gonna drag it a little bit down the lash line. Just a little bit, not too much. And that's it for this look guys i hope you guys really like this video if you did then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share and comment down below let me know you know what's your favorite color to do on your eyes what other looks you want to see what other colors you want to see so i will definitely film those looks for you guys coming up and yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye